Welcome to our grower workshop. Today, I'm showing you how to replace an old flush plate with the Tektron Bow E for any GD2 system with a standard shaft in the Rapid SL or Uniset. You can do a lot of the work without using tools. You'll still need a few tools though. So, let's get started. The box contains the flush plate with all the connecting parts. It's certainly helpful to read the assembly instructions. First, you disassemble the flush plate. To do this, take off the cover and remove the small hose. Then screw off the blue frame. Hang the hose here before you carry on with the installation. If you haven't already done it, turn off the angle valve for further installation and remove the flexible hose. Don't dispose of it. Now mount the new holding frame with these four screws. The spring should be pointing upwards. Align the support frame using a spirit level. Now we calibrate the servo motor with the swivel arm. First, connect the flush plates to the power supply. Then connect the motor to the flush plate. The swivel arm will now calibrate and then move to the 90 degree position. Depending on the position of the angle valve, the filling and waste valves may have to be rotated before further installation. If the angle valve is positioned on the right or in the center, as is the case here, the motor is placed on the right cross piece in the system. In this case, the waste valve must be turned by 180 degrees so that the blue float box is on the right. The filling valve stays on the left. Now, connect a flexible hose that suits the installation conditions. After this, snap the motor onto the cross piece. You hear an audible signal when the positioning is correct. Then attach the connecting rods to the extension of the waste valve and insert it into the waste valve by turning it. Then attach the connecting rod to the lever handle arm and turn on the water supply at the angle valve. Now make sure that the pneumatic hose is clipped to the cross pieces on both sides so it does not interfere with other moving parts. Now install the flush plate. Loop the cable and clamp it onto the flush plate in the opening on the side of the support plate. This prevents the cable from coming into contact with moving parts in the system. Now, connect the plate with the servo motor cable. Finally, place the flush plate on the holding frame from above, press on it and secure it from below with the locking screw. Done. Let's test it. Perfect. The Tektron Bow E flush plate can be individually configured according to a customer's needs. A total of up to seven programs are available and can be manually selected. To select a program, loosen the locking screw, remove the flush plate and disconnect it from the power supply for 10 seconds. The electronics will then be in programming mode for three minutes. Now, place your thumb on the sensor. The LED will flush first, then go out, and then light up permanently. Then remove your thumb from the sensor and put it back there again right away. Now, you're in program mode. One flash means program one, i.e. factory setting. If you leave your thumb on the sensor, it will cycle through each program, flashing from one times to seven times, and then start again with program one. When you reach the program you want, remove your thumb from the sensor. Program 6 in this example. 
In this case, it confirms by flushing six times. After that, three flushes indicate that the program has been activated. Now, the electronics are back in programming mode for another three minutes. The flush volume can be adjusted between three and nine liters. The factory setting is six liters. To adjust the volume, disconnect the flush plate from the power supply for 10 seconds. Reconnect it and place your thumb on the sensor so that the orange LED is visible in the upper part of the sensor window. The LED will flush first. Leave your thumb on the sensor until the LED goes out. Then remove your thumb briefly and place it on the sensor again. Now the light will flash to indicate the flush volume. Keep your thumb on the sensor to change the flush volume. Three flushes stand for three liters. Nine flushes stand for nine liters. When the flush volume you want is selected, remove your thumb from the sensor. The flush plate will confirm the corresponding flush volume by flashing and will perform a flush. You can activate the cleaning mode to avoid any unwanted flushing while the toilet is being cleaned. This switches the flush plate off for three minutes. To do this, put your thumb on the sensor until the LED lights up for a long time and then starts flashing slowly. Then remove your thumb and the LED will flash and flicker quickly. The flush plate is now switched off for three minutes. To switch it back on before the three minutes have elapsed, put your thumb on it again. Now the LED will light up for a long time. When it goes out, remove your thumb. Tektron is now active again. This can be easily tested by triggering a manual flush. To do this, hold your hand less than five centimeters in front of the sensor. Alternatively, a flush plate can also be conveniently configured via remote control. A graphic interface and further functions are available to the user for this. To prevent water stagnation, which leads to soiling when the toilet isn't used for a longer period of time, Tektron automatically flushes the toilet. To change the factory setting of every 24 hours, you can choose between 4-hour and 60-hour intervals in the remote control menu. And finally, transmit the setting by selecting Send. The selection is confirmed by a tick. The detection zone can also be set between 35 and 70 centimeters. If the detection zone is too large, the flush can be triggered unintentionally. Another feature that can be conveniently set via the remote control is dual flush. Here, the flush volume is set according to the duration of use. Under 60 seconds means a flush volume of 3 liters. Over 60 seconds, a factory set flush volume of 6 liters is used. Besides configuring the individual programs, the remote control can also be used to read out the water and electricity consumption. Now we come to the handover. Before the job's done, there are still a few things left to check. Job done.